Hey guys, today we're gonna go to Kakariko Village. Where the heck is it? Yeah, we're gonna go to Kakariko Village and see what's up over there. But first, my man Hetsu. Alright, this is my favorite. Oh man, dude, I love Hetsu. And alright, this is my last one because I don't have any more Korok seeds. Dang, dude. Okay, looks like it's gonna stay here. Nice, nice. Okay, now we're gonna go... Uh, let's not go to Kakariko Village yet. Uh, let's go talk to... What's her name? Joda? Is, is that her? Is that it? Oh, Joshua. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. So remember that fragment I had? The one that showed a single mysterious figure? I found more fragments among the things on the survey team brought back from the depths. And guess what? They fit together like puzzle okay. pieces. Ta-da! Just a look. Oh. Feast your eyes upon this amazing mural. This scene shows that there's a whole series of statues down there like the one you found for me last time. But what really caught my attention is the way they're oriented. Each figure is pointed towards the exit or is pointed towards the next one in the series. Until it ends with the last statue facing a final destination. A building that looks like a temple. Hmm. But also see that large ears in the figure at the front of the building? That's got to be one of the Sonai. And then there's that strange hand symbol that seems to be responding to whatever Sonai's hand is doing. Uh -huh. So to collect my thoughts on all of this, I'm pretty sure you follow the gates of each of these statues down there, you'll reach that structure. I'm also betting that the temple-like buildings hold something of Sonai origin. I've heard that the... That the God dang it, sorry. I've heard that the Sonai wielded mysterious powers. I wonder if this correlates to those powers. Of course, all of this is still just speculation on my part. So, that's where you come in, Swordsman. I want you to be to find the temple structure depicted in the mural. Initially, I figured I could just go myself, so I gathered a bunch of bright blooms and supplies. Aww. But they pulled the kid card on me and said I couldn't go into the depths. So, here. Hey, nice. Oh. Am I gonna get those two? You can have these two. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. There's the added bonus that checking out the deaths might pro provide us with clues to help finding the Princess Zelda. So if it all works out, maybe you'll snag some mysterious power for yourself and gain clues about Princess Zelda. Nothing but good things, right? Thanks for your help with this, Swordsman. Um, okay. Oh, wait, did I already find it? What? You mean to tell me the- Oh, it's the auto build uh, thing, right? And where was it? What was in there? Uh, auto build? With the ability to instantly replicate things you built? And Scamma Stones? Oh. So there really was a Sonai Temple housing mysterious power down in the depths. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that may also mean that some of the things collected from the depths may give us other clues. Wait here just a sec. Okay, I, I could have sworn- I could have like sworn that temple would have been like the one that we- no, we already visited, but okay. Hmm, not that. Nope, not that either. Aha, here we go. <laughs> here, swordsman. A scam of stone. This depicts, uh... Oh, okay, okay, I see. Hot air balloon, let's go. Uh -huh. This is scam of stone for a balloon, right? So use this with the auto build. You can replicate a balloon, right? I'm thinking... That balloon over there belongs to Goggles, but it's broken right now. Do you think you might- Oh, so that's how you do it. Oh, so... No wonder why- I kept on like- Okay. Oh, okay. Swordsman, everything's ready. Please demonstrate how audible replicates things. Okay, so I thought like, uh, since like I cleared like, um, what was it called? The... Professor's Goggles, like, you know, home. I was wondering why, since I cleared this, like, this dude still hasn't gone. Okay. Alright, auto build. And there we go. I mean, I could've just done that with my hand, so... I don't know. I, I can't believe you, you built the balloon in an instant! This... This mysterious power goes beyond scientific explanation. Bro, there's like a floating castle. What are you talking about? She's the bro, she looks like the freaking emoji meme. G goggles. Hey! Goggles. Oh, what are you yelling about, Yasha? Oh, inconceivable. My balloon, it's fixed. Huh. This must be the mysterious power the son I had. 
I never thought I'd see such a marvel with my very own eyes. Thank you, Barry. Thank you for making this a reality. Please take this. I've been saving it for a special occasion. Bruh, you only had one. I still haven't been able to figure out what that is. But judging from that light, it's gotta be Sonai in origin. Since you can use Sonai powers, I think it would be better for you to have it. Yeah. There was an incredible power lying hidden in the depths after all. I think I'll keep researching the depths going forward. Who knows? I might just find a clue about Princess Zelda. If you can make any new discoveries in the depths, please let me know, Swordsman. Alright, well that was fast. Uh, um, yes, Swordsman, do you need something? Uh, do you need something? Hey! No way! Koga, the leader of the Giga clan, was there. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah. I've got to regain my composure. Okay, come this way. Oh, wow, I thought this was finished. <laughs> it keeps on going. So you face Koga in the depths, hmm? What's the leader of the Yuga clan uh, up to down there? From what I know, the Yuga clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has left out, uh, has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, we, can we just can't take our eyes off the th this threat. Mm -hmm. Besides, Koga could know what's happened to the princess. That will make a lot of sense. If you do go after him, keep in mind that I'd be continuing my research into depths from right here. Oh, by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time south of Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and I've gotten reports of another series of statues found at the bottom of it. These statues are different from the one you showed me using the camera. They seem to point the way somewhere too, and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there, these statues lead further southwest into the depths. Where they go is anyone's guess, but I bet there's a destination far beyond that building worth oh. seeing. I'll keep gathering info about what's in the depths, so be sure to stop by and check with me sometime. Alright. Wait, what? Was, is that him? Oh, it's, it's him. Okay. I really appreciate you fixing up a balloon. Ultra thanks. That out of the thing is pretty darn amazing. Hmm, I should have got... A good thing about all the practical uses of that someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, you, listen up. Now that Joshua saw the mystery of that slate, I can return to the Pora Pad Laboratory in Hateno Village. If you go there, I can make even more improvements on your Pora Pad, starting with the sensor. You find the lab in Southeast Dakota, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. Oh, it's far sighted Hateno Village. Go a bit farther than that, you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you, it's a cutting edge lab. Alright, I'm gonna co go ahead over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in Hateno Village. Don't keep me waiting. Okay, alright. Wait, Hateno Village, right? Wait, haven't I I haven't even found that place yet. What? No. Okay, uh, that's another place that I need to go to. Alright. Nice. A person like uh, starting a new game slowly, like progressing slowly, is that like I'm enjoying this more. Like I could have been already been finished. I could already finish this game in the first week, but like since I'm going all slow, I'm like just flat out enjoying this. It feels like it's still new to me. <sighs> all right, so we're in Kakariko Village. We gotta meet. Uh, what, what was her name? Paya, right? Yeah, we're gonna go meet Paya. <laughs> Wherever the heck she is. Uh, let's see. Oh! Oh! Is that her? Oh! Let's go! Yeah. The ring runes are the most intriguing runes I've researched. Especially this one, the way parts of it flows up there. You had a fourth. You had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the Serbi team to take a look right away. Uh, I'm impressed, Chief Paya. Oh no, I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal too. Hmm? Uh, oh, is that you, Master Link? Oh wow, that dude. I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Alright, she barely, like, changed. She just got a new hat. <laughs> mm. But still, who the heck is that? Damn, dude. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Link. Uh? What? Princess Zelda is still missing? That's just 
confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko Village. Uh, who's your friend? Like, bro. <laughs> she ordered us all to stay away far away from the ring ruin that floats above us no matter what. I saw her myself. The princess right before my eyes. Oh, she left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect at least. Mm. But still, I know you cannot misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. What? Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to meet you. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Sonai survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. Ah. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Sonai civilization. He's even familiar with the Sonai script. He is truly incredibly talented individual. Damn, dude. Oh my god, he kind of looks like Chad from Pleach. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god, he kind of does. Damn. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape has fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that some stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content including mentions of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Mm. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slap that makes mention of the sages. Mm. I can't investigate as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet up with her again. I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mm. mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. God dang it, why? I wanna go up there. Oh, that whole st okay. I'm here. Oh. Alright, 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 and alright. Oh yeah, I just found this out in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bro, what's up with this? <laughs> but alright, we got that out the way. Uh, I guess we can like go up meet with um, what's his name? Oh yeah, Professor Ravi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Ateno Village. All right, we got that. We gotta go to the map, and yeah, I haven't really gone there. Okay, well, let's go there real quick. And all right, we're here to Hateno Village. Oh, sorry. Okay. Did anything change? Uh, let's see. No, I don't think so. Yeah, this looks largely the same. Um, I. Oh, okay. Well, at least there's a well right there. I can like explore that in a bit. Bro, how is it that like, I don't know how many years have passed, and all they did is added a well. What the heck, man? Huh. Uh, actually, they got some new stuff. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess from the looks of it, all the new stuff is just like out in the front. What I really wanted to like come here for is the Link's old house. I've already heard like uh, what's going on with. Oh, well, okay. I already heard what's going on with it. Like, um, this could be uh, Link's and Zelda's house now. Miss Zelda. Miss mm. Zelda isn't back. Is it because she's disappointed in me? <gasps> Oh, uh, do you have business at Mrs. Zelda's house too, mister? You know, she's not back home yet, right? Oh. Right around the time of upheaval, Miss Zelda just stopped coming home. She always used to say, see you later, whenever she left the village, but not that time. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait a second, I just remembered. Wasn't there like a... I didn't discover this in my Breath of the Wild playthrough, but I did find it in my... At the time of this recording, like a couple of days ago, like there was a horn statue somewhere over here. Okay, yeah, there's like no horn statue. Like, I didn't find that out until like literally last week. Not even during my uh, playthrough of this game, but... Or Breath of the Wild, I mean, in Breath of the Wild. But I guess there's no horn at this location, I guess. Um, Alright, let's go with... God dang, I got hiccups. Oh. What's that? Bro, why does that why does it still have some like some random dude? 
<laughs> Wait, isn't this the the shrine lady? Oh, oh, okay, golden horse. Why does she have like random people like on her watch? Like, why not like some of hers? <laughs> like, bro. Oh. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set out across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw collapsed buildings, lost cities. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced all was not lost. The people's spirits were not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasures. They are the ones who will rebuild and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we built a school in Ateno village. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seems the ideal place to found a school. I recruited Simon from the research institute to teach there. He was poor assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky, quirky children. I'll be overseeing the school for a while myself to keep an eye on the students. I commissioned Volson, who taught his trade to Hudson of Hudson's construction to construct a school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This could be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off in a journey. I had him and add a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim by humidity and temperature controlled so it's very comfortable. It's proven very useful when I'm working alone and need to concentrate. Work at the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he hasn't found a good fit yet. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we shape their path. I hope to see starling members of our community come to this village and take up the mantle as their teacher. Alright. Yeah, like, uh, I think this is like... One of the only beds that uh, Link can actually sleep in. Like, uh, I think he can't even sleep on any beds that's not like the sleeping inns. Or the ones that are like, um, that he... This is Zelda's house. It's pretty much confirmed that they're dating. Like, dude, like, they're living together. Plus, like, I'm pretty sure the voice actor of Zelda, I think, confirmed it too. Uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, no, that's not something. Alright, secret room. I, I know where it is. This should be... Yeah, right here. Oh, whoa, wait a second. Zelda's secret well. Okay. I mean, how the heck could this be a secret well? I mean, I guess, like, since no one really comes back here, but... Still. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, we're gonna read her diary. Okay. Though the calamity is over, its scars remains. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side, a kindness that has taken a visible toll on its clothing. That's why I put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after in investigation. Even he will never expect that the torches are the key. Wait, what? Dude. A well-worn hairband. A long-worn, simple hairband that color has long faded but still has some life left on it. Oh, wait. Isn't this Link's? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, oh, what am I doing? This? Yeah, it should be up here, right? Wait, isn't this like his, um, how do you say, Breath of the Wild Drift? Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay, I kind of want to go get the champion's tunic. Robbie has to wait. Robbie is going to have to wait. Alright, this is the sanction. Uh, let's see. Okay, it doesn't even label like where I'm at. Okay, how do I get to the th throne room? Is it like up there, right? Oh, wait, okay. This is a throne, right? So... We got one right there, and... <gasps> oh, I figured it out! 
Bro, why is Zelda so, like, extra? Yep. Let's go! Oh, she added a shoulder pad. Nice! Dude! Oh, dude, look at this. <laughs> oh, man. I, I don't know why I don't use, like, the camera feature for, like, uh, my thumbnails. Like, I really do need that. But, okay. Yeah, this is dope. This is dope. Okay, I guess we can go now and, like, uh, go off and see uh, Ravi. If I can actually get out of here. I just realized. How do I... Oh. oh, okay, never mind. I figured it out. Never mind. Wait, hold up. Oh, dude, I thought that was the person. <laughs> okay, okay. Looks like uh, Robbie's uh, air balloon is here. Oh, okay. No, oh, actually, let me see this. Oh, I might have, I might have committed a war crime right now on Hateno Village. <laughs> and I was, and I just came back. Not even like the five minutes, and I'm already destroying stuff. But, hey, yo, Robbie. Ah, what a pleasant morning. Hey, you. The poor Pad Laboratory is ready for us to do some great things together. First, let's get that sensor up and running. Come on, let me see the poor Pad. This will only take a moment. Whoa. One and a two and a three and a four. Okay, all right. Now, this sensor will make a sound if there are shrines near you. Alright, now that I've installed that sensor for you, how about you walk around the lab to test out how it reacts? I mean, wasn't it like one right there? <gasps> hey, you, where are you going? <gasps> we need to finish testing your new sensor. Come back here, will you? I mean, I thought it was. Well, still testing that sensor. Hold up with the rushing for now. Just walk in the direction you're moving when you hear the sensor react. Yeah, like, it's in that, like, doing it? Oh, oh okay. What's this? The sensor that I installed on your poor pad is reacting to something right here and now. It reacts when you're moving towards a shrine. The sensor must be detecting a shrine down on the slope in front of the lab. Is there really one that close by? There must be because my creations are perfect. Unless they get broken in some way. Now, why don't you go check down the slope in that direction that the sensor was indicating? Oh, okay. There's a cave, right? Yeah, there's a cave. Oh, okay. Red Sun Forest Cave. Mm, oh, okay, it's right here. Oh. Yes, let's go! I don't have to waste the. Uh, what's it called? Bomb flowers on this anymore. Okay, so far, Yonobo's uh, stand is way more better than Sidon. Honestly, I don't really use his powers all that much. <laughs> oh, okay, he's asking me. <laughs> My design of the sensor is beyond perfection. Just listen to its sounds and you'll find your way to that nearby shrine. Oh. What? You found it? I'd expect nothing less from you. Anyway, how about that sensor? Handy, huh? I expected nothing less from me. Oh. Wow, I told you that you need to know about that sensor, but I fear it's gone in one ear and out the other. So hang on a minute. Oh. Okay, the details look correct and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go, the operation instruction for the sensor. Now you can review the sensor features anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Now you begin to, begin to see the true potential of the Pura Pad, and I'm nowhere near done yet. I created new features for that device while I was waiting here for you. Yes, I whipped up some prototypes of these extra features and can get them on your Pura Pad at any time. That is, with some help from you, getting some final data I need in order to activate them perfectly. Let's what? Ah, oh, think. Let's talk if you want these upgrades. Enjoy that sensor, a taste of great things to come. Until then. Okay, alright, let's do this. I can't talk for some reason today, but okay. Hey, you! We have more work to do. Your poor pad is nowhere near its full capability yet. Your poor pad will be even better after I add some extra features. Those include the most essential one, the travel medallion. Features that let you set up gates for instant travel anywhere. Oh, okay. I have actually got spoiled about that today. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, okay. Whatever. It's a month old game. Of course, I'll be spoiling some things. There's also the Hero's Path mode. It shows where you've traveled. Finally, Sensor Plus, which helps you find more than shrines. Your Pura Pad will be perfect once I start all of those. But first, I need to gather some test data so I can fine-tune my prototypes. 
So let's get to work on that pad. Just walk, talk to me anytime you'd like to get started on any of these. Uh, travel medallion. The travel medallion feature is quite exceptional. It lets you travel instantly to a gate you've established elsewhere. But we're going to have to have a little bit of extra challenge with all this. Come now, give me your poor pad for a moment. Oh wait, we have a something for him too, right? Whoa. Look here, in the distant Akala, up in the northeast corner, is the Akala Ancient Tech Lab, which is also my home. That's where my prototype of the Trap Medallion feature is. I started working on it back there. I already have one, so yeah. Very good. Oh? I'd go get it myself, but word is that some tre dangerous trespassers have made themselves at home there. That's why I'd like to have you, with all your great talents, go there and fetch my Tribal Medallion prototype. To speed this journey along, well, the return journey anyways. Hmm? What was that again? Aha! Here it is! Here it is! Oh, nice! Okay. You turn that thing on. I've activated the travel gate outside this land. Now you can get here instantly, if not faster. You'll need to make your way to the ancient Akala Tech Lab. However, you'll find the travel medallion prototype in the chest beside my desk there. Should be easy enough to find. Um, okay. I already have it, though. Yeah, I already have it. Oh. What? Then you already have it? Ah. Good job! That would do the trick! Come, hurry it up! Let me see your poor pad! Oh. Now, give me just a moment. Oh, that looks dope! Ah. Ta da 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 I've added that your key item so you will never lose the ability to use it. If you want to be able to travel instantly to your favorite spot, just stand there and set up a travel gate by using that. Then at any time, you can just sit right by, right there by selecting that very spot on your map. Easy, right? I wonder what I could do if I even have more data, however. I suspect I could add two more gates. Yes, then I hit maximum capa capacity. So I create a link between the pad and a second location. For that, I need about 10 map data locations, which should be a walk in the park for someone like you. Oh yes, I should prepare operation instructions for the feature too. Hang on a moment. Okay, the detail looks correct, and I'll post it right here. Yes, very good. Here you go. The operation instructions for the travel medallion feature. Now you can review the medallion. Feature anytime you want. Just read that poster there. Okay, alright. We're good. And okay. Oh. One last... I think we're like, I think we're close to ending the video, but first, let's find a memory. Okay, let's see. Have I found one here? Oh, yes. I should delete this. Okay, nice. Okay. Mm, no, no. I guess, I'm guessing like the next one, we, the next one we need to like be like more chronological order should be somewhere up here, right? Okay, let, yeah, let's go. Let's go in that direction. I, I really want to see one memory before we end the video. Huh, okay, from the looks of it, kind of looks like either a dragon or a monster. Oh, uh, dude, hopefully this is like chrono chronologically like um, like somewhere like in the fives or six or something. Oh, okay, that's like a haunted well. <laughs> um, I did not expect that. All right, okay, let's just ignore those two. We got Sidon and Unovo for this. If they can actually catch up, dude, what the heck are both y'all doing? <laughs> Bro, Yonobo! Oh, oh wait, wait, never mind, he actually did it. <laughs> never mind, Yonobo, keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, Sidon, yes, he's finally doing something. <laughs> oh, dude, they're so, they're so dumb. Could this be it right here? No? Okay. Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, nice. And all right, here we go. After this memory is over, I'm going to end the video. So I'm so excited, so excited. Hopefully it's not like, uh, it's not like a distant memory. God dang it, no! <laughs> Bro! My man has a nose. I will, will bow down before me. Oh. 
Oh snap! Oh. Uh. What the heck? Wait, what? Oduga are approaching our position. It's more than we thought. It's a swarm. Dude, the music. There are so many of them. But why would they? Oh my god, we're going full Dragon Ball right now. <laughs> Is he gonna make a spirit bomb? <laughs> oh wait, no, that's Tian Shan's move. Tri uh, tri beam, right? Or uh, man, it's been a while since I watched Dragon Ball. <laughs> Possible. Oh, I just remember Tai Tai Show or something like that. <laughs> I'm still trying to remember Tian's move. So brute force will not be enough. The secret stone of the Zonai. <laughs> How interesting. Okay, so what number of memory is this? Bro, every time I think it's not gonna be like that far enough. I just see freaking Ganondorf here <laughs> with his big nose in this. Dude, okay, we take out that chin. I mean, uh, that beard. He's not gonna look all that great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did like an image, an image like of that um, in one of my videos. I don't remember which one, but yeah. Show field team. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so we did, um, wait, but what the heck happened to number, wait, hold up, how, how did we go from number five to number six? Okay, it's in the of Conquer Hyrule, okay, huh, all right, okay, uh, that someone makes the most sense, I, I just completely forgot what happened in the previous number. All right, we actually got it right this time. Next, uh, next video, we are gonna watch the memory from over here. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this. But still, how the heck did it go from like... Like that? Like, that's weird, that's weird. Yeah, so this has to be the next one. Or, right, yeah, this one has to be the next one. But okay, alright. That's it for this video, guys. I know it's a bit of a slow burn, no exciting things like meeting the sages, even though I did promise that I was going to do the one on uh, Rito Village, but I didn't. But hey, hey, we had to check up on like the other side characters, okay? Like, I doubt they have like that much speaking roles. Like, I already miss Pura. I thought she was going to be like a main character or like have a leap, at least a bit more speaking roles, but supposedly she doesn't. She barely has any screen time, which freaking sucks. How the hell are you going to give us that character design and not give more of us of her? Bro. Oh, well. Wait, well, what if we talk to her? I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. So the Gorons were fixated on marble rock rows and had stopped working. Then in source of main King Dorafon was attacking sludge was raining down from the sky. And someone who looked like Princess Zelda was connected to what happened in both places. Whatever the case may be, I'm glad the Gorons and Sora are able to be get back to business as usual. Seems like entrusting those areas to you was the right decision mm. after all. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious than I previously thought. I need you to hurry to the remaining regions and soon. And we need to investigate the other village I'm concerned about. Mm. Alright. Oh, she's talking about the, the tunic. I'm glad to see it's made its way back to you. It suits you. Oh, okay. I didn't know about that. Like, she had that dialogue. All right. But anyways, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.